good day. Our topic for today is all about gen- uh, generator troubleshooting. Our generator auto stop without any alarms. Triggered by overspeed, low low pressure oil, HT, high temp, fresh water, and emergency stop. There is no shutdown alarm triggered, and then the generator is all about three hours, and then the generator auto stop without any alarms. Come and join me, and then. I will share to you the troubleshooting tips. First step is to compare in the other generator, number one. In the number one, 900 RPM and the turbocharger's RPM is all about uh, 2000, almost 2000. And then check the position of lambda. That is the normal position. It is uh, idle speed. This is idle speed, and then I also clean this uh, lever at the taco where the taco is attached because sometimes there is a fuel for this one that sticks uh, almost 3000 rpm for turbocharger at the number one, and then 900 rpm for this number one. This number one is normal, but the trouble. Uh, the one that is have a problem is at number two this is the normal position of lambda that is the position of lambda at number one then next step this is at number two generator check this bar that is also interlock with the shutdown this is turning for the turning gear there is a limit switch and secured and then local set to local and then start this number two and we will observe okay all parameters are normal and then there is no uh, abnormal alarms coming up and then we will check the pressure seven bars this is the jet uh, solenoid for jet assist that is related for the jet assist that is connected going to turbocharger that pipe below that is for intended for jet assist okay next step we will observe uh, during running start and then check check directly to the lambda position the initial position of the lambda during starting okay at the local panel 900 600, 950 going down to 900 and then check as we can observe the lambda spindle stun rod of the lambda is pushing that lever that is connected to the fuel almost pushing the lever and then let's go to the number one let's see at the number one with a load uh, almost 3000 to 800 times 10 rpm for turbo turbocharger and at the number two is still 800 but the lambda position the piston rod is pushing almost pushing same position almost pushing that lever that is connected to the fuel index okay, that is the parameter that turbo charger rpms RPM is not increasing. Okay. That position is not the same to number one. But the tip is we have reference. Okay. We focus this lever. 
as you can see there is a gap nearly uh, the piston rod almost pushes the lever and then hits the taco for intended for the jet assist the problem is that piston rod pushes the lever then this valve has a passing air leak going to that cylinder of lambda that's why that piston rod is push up going down there is a two input for charging air below that pushes the piston go up uh, that is the lever connected to the fuel and then this charging air compensate pushes the piston rod if there is no leaking at the top of that bulb if that has leaking this piston rod slowly pushes that lever that is the activation button for our pneumatic bulb at the top that is the mechanical overspeed this bulb is the main problem there is a air leak going to the lambda and also note that there is no alarm it's because this mechanical overspeed did not activate only this pneumatic valve has a leaking that causing the uh, causing the air going to lambda we already changed new one that's it and the pr problem solved Uh, that's it the, that is the fuel disconnected to the fuel index that's the problem is the lambda is pushes that lever the normal is there is a gap same in number one it's because there is no no air coming from the top that's why the charging air compensate then this piston goes up we replace a new one because we have a spare and see to it that don't neglect a small leaking that connects to our lambda because that is big effect our generators i hope you learn from it and don't forget to hit like share and subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell for more updates thank you for supporting us